to the points. And that's absolutely critical. That's why it is wonderful to have your eyes on here as well for this week of Talu. Now this is Mexico's Juan Carlos Gomez Perez. Certainly very confident. Now you're talking about body structures earlier on, and you'll see that he is also very tall. Um, but he does have, there is a little bit disadvantage because if you don't extend out your arm, it becomes more obvious as you're a taller person. Yeah. When you're, when you're not as linear. being in the second half of the of the draw almost I remember each of these competitors already know the benchmarks that have been set and for Juan Carlos Gomez Perez I said it's just a little bit oh it looks solid there all in all his overall performance you reckon that's those panel B judges are going to be happy with that? I think his uh, overall performance would be a little bit lower than the others. His C scoring, his difficulty jumps were pretty solid, but they're looking for more explosive power, more, more speed, a little more relaxed, more rhythm. Yeah. The problem is if you, even if you're the fastest athlete without rhythm, you may look just one very monotone. It really all has to connect together. 8.94. It's not going to get him into the top three. As we said, 9.70 is the pinnacle at the moment. But to break into the top three, then you're going to need a 